guys so welcome back to another video today we're going to be making a really easy throat lozenge recipe for the cold and flu season that is among us so stick around and I will show you how to do that right now we'll need honey we'll also need lemon ginger and turmeric preferably fresh slippery elm powder which is optional as a coating otherwise you can use powdered sugar or cornstarch we will need cornstarch if you're doing the no mold method. We'll need candy molds, a measuring cup, and you'll want to use approximately a teaspoon of fresh turmeric. I'll be using two tablespoons of this. Add the fresh ginger and turmeric to a pot. And we'll add a cup and a half of water. We'll turn on the burner and set it to a medium heat, let it boil, and then we will turn the burner off and let it sit for 20 to 30 minutes, depending on how strong you want it. The skin off of one lemon, and we're going to add that to the turmeric and the ginger tea brew that we're making right now. You'll want to squeeze the lemon that you took the rind off of. You want to strain your tea. And we'll take the one and a half cups of honey and put that in there as well. And we're going to put that back on the burner and we're going to let it boil for 20 to 30 minutes. And at this point, we want to be using a candy thermometer as well, keeping in mind we want to get to the 300 degrees Fahrenheit hard crack stage. You just want to make sure that the tea and the honey is mixed. And you'll just put your candy thermometer in there and just keep track. And while you're waiting, you'll just want to get things prepared. So you'll get your candy molds if you have them. And if you don't have them, I'm going to be showing you two techniques. So there's the candy mold technique and the cast iron pot technique. And this requires cornstarch. I'd say an inch to your pan, depending on how deep you want your candy molds to be. You'll want to take something with a round bottom. You can use your finger, but I'm going to use my quarter teaspoon you're just going to indent. At 215 to 235 degrees Fahrenheit, you can split the batch and make a simple cough syrup. You'll want to be fairly quick with this as the honey cools, it gets quite sticky. Once the cough drops have cooled completely, we're going to prevent them from getting sticky in storage by coating them with either cornstarch, powdered sugar, or what I'm going to be using is slippery elm powder, which has the added benefit of being very soothing for coughs and sore throats. So after everything has been coated, we're just going to place them into a container. And for best results, just keep them in the fridge. So I hope you guys find this recipe helpful. If you like the channel and want better and healthier alternatives for everyday living, subscribe below and join me on a do-it-yourself challenge.